Hi, this is Flecky. Welcome to the Road to Glory Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. Welcome to episode 81, season 5. Our run in the Premier League continues and we have we have started so great. We're like 30 games into this first season and we're still sitting 7th. Um, we're gonna see the schedule now. On the 30th of March we play Manchester United away on Old Trafford and that's gonna be the first game of this episode. Our second game of the episode is when we play Leicester at home. They're visiting us at the field mill. And that's gonna be a tough game of course. The United game is gonna be even tougher but yeah. Then we can rest for almost a week and we play Crystal Palace and we play them away and that's gonna be on the 13th of April, so that's that's the third game of this episode. Then we're gonna well, we're gonna close the episode with with a final game, uh, the fourth and final game, uh, when we play Stoke at home. So they're visiting us at the field mill. Um, that's the four games that you know this episode will offer. Um, Downside <laughs> is I said this if if you didn't see last episode the final game of, of the last episode when we played Watford um, the the sound file was just broken when I you know I was gonna edit it and I realized that I didn't have any in-game commentary at all it was just a disaster so. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and, and talk over this game. Um, we're playing now Manchester United away at Old Trafford. Uh, I'd say a draw would be fantastic. You can see we're, we're playing in the yellow kits. Um, United have, you know, they have their classic red. The Red Devils are they're not gonna get, you know, we're not gonna have an easy game, will we? I mean, you can almost hope that there will battle like Liverpool done in both our games this season, but I don't think so. And Rashford seems to be hot. He has, he scored a hat-trick in the last game, as you can see there. Um, he's gonna, you know, it's, it's gonna be trouble. The entire team's gonna be trouble, we know that. We have a kickoff here and they have started, you know, they just pass around. They, they're gonna, you know, if they want, they will just play with us. The first chance of this game is a cross that we, we do, a, you know, it's it's a horrible <laughs> clearing there. Um, yeah. They come in with the ball again and we just straight into the middle and they, they you know they continue to you know attack us we, we almost can't get rid of the ball but then Stramberg gets a, a nice chance using his pace and uh, getting killed by the defender it was a great tackle though um, then we see Cruz he just skips over the, the attacking defender and he has a shot that got you know blocked Dukara is he went more for the their winger back than he did for the ball, so I'm, I'm surprised he didn't get a, a free kick there. Uh, Brady, he's he's been so good in goal, and he's trying to find uh, standby, and he will find standby with this long goal kick. Uh, it's a great save, you know. It's it's a tight as you can see, it's a tight game so far. Um, we're gonna try a long kick again. See if Stamberg can get there. And it's, you know, it's, it's not that far away. It's just, if he had a longer tone, as he would have scored. Second half and we have a goal and the keeper makes a save. We're trying to clear the ball, coming right back at us. And that's, you know, it's not 
I could try and get a body between the the ball and our goal, but I I didn't have the I didn't have a chance there. Um, our scored one goal to zero. Uh, United has a, you know they have a lead. They're coming again. A great header, but a better save. And we're gonna try to go long again. See if Lee will do anything. He gets the ball and he passes it. You can see that Cruz is one on one, and it's a good save. Time is running up. We have a corner where Bra well Bailey is trying to head the ball into, but he doesn't get the power and he doesn't get the direction either. Overtime and Konjikau gets the ball and the, the ref calls the game and we lose one goal to zero. In the end, I can't complain. I mean, one goal to zero loss away versus you know Manchester United it's it's not too bad and as you can see we had great chances we could have had a draw easily and um, I think we have even better chances than than what the ones that Manchester United had but yeah couldn't score <laughs> anyway the second game of this episode it's a game as we playing Leicester you can see we're still sitting seventh even though we lost and uh, Manchester United, they are up on fourth. Um, so, the same, you see Southampton, Stoke, and, and Norwich, they're still in the relegation battle. Um, they got West Bromwich involved. Then it's a gap to Wolves, nine point gap to Wolves. So, I think that's that's how it's gonna be. The, those four teams are gonna fight of like who, who's going down and who's not. But we have a home game to, to focus on. When we play Leicester, um, as I said, we're sitting seventh, 31 games played, seven games to play, and Leicester are ninth. So, yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. Hopefully, we can actually, you know, get a few points. Three points would be perfect. Let's go. So we have a kickoff here. Uh, Stan Barry's, you know, he played almost every game from start. He's he's been amazing this season. Um, Leicester has the first chance of the game. And that's a beautiful goal. I mean, the first across, he hits the post, it bounces back to one of their, and they just smash it in. Can't do much there. That's why I love Cruz. He tries to kill <laughs> opponents and he scores a lot of goals. Yeah. I don't know if you could tell, but that was actually, he had it outside. He missed from there. Uh, that made me sad. We're still down one goal. We're in the second half. Papino is going with a shot. He gets blocked. Cruz gets the ball. Passes to Justino and bam, Stanberry is all alone and he can just place the ball into the post. And we actually have a one all draw. And he's watching way too much TV, so I guess he, he copied Neymar's um, goal celebration there. Um, but if that makes him happy, I'm not gonna judge. One. For me, that's a penalty. They're killing Von Pala inside the penalty box. How is that not a penalty? I don't... well... No, it's it's the, it's the penalty. He didn't get the ball. Now that's a finish. We're down two goals to one.
but that's how you finish. I also, he just, it's a finesse, far, you know, far corner, it's, it's just so beautiful and it's impossible to stop. When the, when the AI decides to do that, you can just say, hey, thank you, because they're going to score, definitely. Uh, we could see that Cruz had a great chance and now Fraser is coming up at, and, yeah. We need to practice Fraser's crosses because that wasn't the best one. And we lost. We are way, we were, we're in the 96th minute. And um, well, I guess it's safe to say that Leicester won. And it wasn't, you know, a lucky win. They deserve to win. They scored a really beautiful 2 1 goal. So let's just give them that. And we're. Still sitting, seventh. Uh, Leicester is a few points uh, behind us, but we remain in seventh place. We have a contract offer for national team for Finland, which we decline uh, since we are not gonna jump on on the national team. I'm, I'm if if I get an offer from Sweden, my country, I don't know if I will turn it down. To be honest, you know. Because I, I can't imagine, depending on how things go with this save, I would love to play for Sweden and see if I can, you know, make them play a, a European Championship or a World Championship. That would be amazing, but we'll see. So yeah, we're still sitting 7th. We have Leicester just behind us now on 8th. Uh, we're going to play Crystal Palace at Sellers Park. Um, it will be a tough game. Um, I, yeah, I've said that before. But yeah, this this Crystal Palace is, is not easy to win against. And I come from a loss. We you know lost. We just recently lost to Leicester 2 was the one. So let's see if we can get this one. Off, Crystal Palace starts game and we actually comes with the first chance when Justino is free on his right wing and he passes it back and that's you know when Cruz drops you know back like that you just have to serve him the ball because then that's it's gonna be a goal like eight out of ten times he's just amazing when he scores his 23rd goal in the Premier League and he's a central attacking midfielder he's not even a striker Cruz is amazing so Crystal Palace is trying to to reply and and get a draw of course we have a great block Papino plays it up to Cruz and he finds Stramberg and that's so close he Great save from the keeper, and then he heads the ball in the bar, and then it bounces on the bar. I mean, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a corner for Crystal Palace, and he just, well, when Pala gets the ball still, and he sets up, he has the pace. He really has the pace. He can't cross the ball at all. He doesn't. Uh, but he has the pace and I don't know what what to say about that. I just thought it was funny. He, he, he's doing everything right until the end. He gets the ball too far ahead of, of himself and he tried to tackle. No one is there and just it looks it looks funny. Here we actually get a penalty and I have to say it's not a penalty at all according to me. I mean it's I don't see what he's doing that was that would actually be a penalty. It's not he doesn't do anything. But I mean I don't, I'll take it. Uh, Cruz is gonna score. Second goal. Two one up. It's not a penalty. It's just wrong. I should have I mean I should have just blasted wide, but 
I, yeah. First of all, I didn't, and second of all, I want to win. If they, there's other times when when I've been receiving, a, you know, I've been on the opposite side, and getting a penalty against me when it's shouldn't have been. Anyway, we're two ones up, and scored. 24 goals in the Premier League for Cruz and I think he might snatch the golden booth to be honest I know Morata is chasing him well we'll see it would be awesome if a central tech in midfield and that never happened for me it's always the strikers that get the golden booth we have a great block when Lucara is trying to score and now Gianetti plays the ball up and Lee he doesn't make a mistake there. He's amazing inside the box. He's doing the Ronaldo one and yeah, no, he's just, he scored 14 times already. And he, he scored so many times in the FA Cup. He's so, I mean, he has, what was it, 10, I think? So yeah, he's, he's having a great season too. We see Juan Pala is getting some game time here, but we've Getting the long cross over to Ducara and yep, Pompala is there. He runs across the box just to get there to score. He's just, he's a legend. I mean, he's a legend. Bam, top corner. Well, not really, almost. It's beautiful though, and it's from Paolo, it's fourth goal in the Premier League, and I'm so happy. I mean, I told you guys that I wanted him to score in the Premier League, because then he scored in all the four leagues in England, and that's beautiful. I think he scored in all the cups as well. But yep, it's the end of the game, we are four goals up. And this will probably make the ref blow the whistle. No, we have a still a chance. No, we're not. It's over. I'm satisfied. Four goals to zero away at Sellers Park at Crystal Palace. That's not that's not something I'm gonna do every day. I tell you that. Uh, Cruz was amazing. Lee was amazing. My defense was, you know, they did their job. We can just, I mean, I, I'll applaud Cruz for two goals today. That was really, really, really fun to see. Uh, Von Pala scores, that's just amazing. And Lee scores, that's fun. But yeah, it was a great game. I'm really, I'm really happy. So next up is Stoke. We're playing them at home. They're visiting us at the field mail. And um, that's going to be the 34th game in the league. You can see here Cruz, his five, his son has actually passed Morata in the goal scoring league there, but yeah, I guess that's the top three. Stamba is down on 17th, uh, 17 goals, sorry. Um, yeah, we can see here now, Sok is second last, 20 points. Um, yeah, I mean, we should win. We should, you know, this, it should be a win. Um, we're gonna try, of course, to get the win. Um, we don't want to lose at our home turf. But yeah, Stokes, you know, they they won. We lost to Stoke before. Uh, I'll just leave it there. You can see there, they aren't the greatest away team either. Everything tells us that we should win the game. <laughs> Probably why we're gonna lose five goals to zero or something like that. Yeah, the kickoff is ours and we actually have the first chance. Cruz got the ball and he sees Stromberg running and he finds him and it's not far away. It's not far away. Stoke comes and they 
that's you know it's so close that they missed that one it looked like it went in but it hit the post behind the goal uh, Dukara he's he got space on his left wing and he's trying to find and yeah Stromberg he, he didn't back enough I thought I would I wouldn't get the ball to him I thought one of the defender was gonna get in between but we managed to, to actually I, I managed to, to reach in with Dukara and, and one one goal to zero is, is a you know is a fact. But if you can see here, Stamba should have backed a little more. Then again, uh, if he did, maybe the defender there would have actually been able to block it. It was close. Uh, it's we're a goal up. I'm really happy about that. Stamber scores his 18th goal of the Premier League, which is amazing. Then we move into the second half. We have a we're goal up and they are attacking. And they miss from there. I'm gonna show you the replay on that one. I guess he's right foot because I'm happy I missed that. I thought it was on one or they come with a long ball and it's not that far away. If it could have dipped a little more, it would have been really dangerous. They come with a long free kick. We win the first. And you can see one goal to zero. We're playing the second last and we are fighting for our lives with a one goal to zero win. Yeah, and we won against Tottenham away, five goals to one. And when it comes to playing like Stoke, we barely win. One goal to zero, Stanbury scores in the 45th minute. I'm really happy we won. It could have been, a, I mean, we could have lost as well, but yeah, I'll take it. Three more points, thank you. That's beautiful. The next game, as you can see, that's coming up, it's going to be a game uh, when we play Leicester in the semi-final of the FA Cup. I know I've just lost to Leicester, but if we manage to win, I will be in the final. That, that's just, I don't know what to say, that's just amazing. But we're going to have to win to get there. I'm, I'm trying to think how the first game, uh, when we played Leicester, how that went. I think I lost it. Didn't I lose it three goals to one and then I lost two goals to one the second? Uh, it doesn't really give me confidence when it comes to to the semi-final when we're gonna play them. Um, but yeah, that's... <sighs> there's a lot of, you know, if we if we manage to win that one, if you know, and yeah, I'm, it's going to be at Wembley, right? The semi-final is it, it's going to take place at Wembley Stadium, so they don't they don't have the home advantage. Um, anyway, um, the good thing is that I'm going to play the first team. That's I can't really. Depend. Well, dip, no, I can't. I have to play the first team. I uh, can't play the reserves. Even though they they took us here, I just can't. It's too much on stake now. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Episode 81 is done. And um, I do apologize for, for the fact that the sound is gone, um, the game sound, and that you have to listen to this extremely boring voice but it's gonna be the same for the next episode yay yeah sadly next episode is broken as well um i pre-recorded it i haven't put my commentary on it yet i'm gonna do this soon but hopefully 
you enjoyed the episode somehow um, it was some interesting games I want you guys to take care and be safe and uh, stay healthy and I want you guys to be good to each other and walk good <laughs>